Yeah, I'd like to tell you a bit about Biomin F toothpaste this afternoon. It's a toothpaste that's uh, based on a new active ingredient developed at Queen Mary University over the last 10 years. has been the result of um, about nine PhDs that are involved in this technology. It incorporates a, a material called a bioactive glass. And a bioactive glass is like a reservoir that contains calcium, phosphate and fluoride. And in comparison to standard fluoride, phos uh, fluoride toothpaste, this has a totally different mechanism. With a normal fluoride toothpaste, after, uh, which is normally 1450 parts per million, after every minute the fluoride ion concentration uh, decreases by around about 50%. So your, 50, uh, your 1450 part per million uh, toothpaste, after, one minute after brushing becomes 725 and then goes down to around about 375 and decreases exponentially. So that after 75 minutes to 90 minutes, there really isn't any therapeutic uh, fluoride left in, in the toothpaste. So that was really where the scientists started and they believed what they were looking for was to have uh, a controlled fluoride release system that would also incorporate calcium and phosphate. So th they decided to use a, a glass base as, as the reservoir and the glass incorporates the minerals of calcium ions, phosphate ions and fluoride ions. When you, when you brush your teeth with this toothpaste and around about 5% of the toothpaste by weight has uh, uh, bioactive glass, that the very fine particles, which are around about 5 microns each, these adhere, there's an adhesive system where the glass, the glass particles bond chemically to the, uh, to the tooth surface. And, the, and that means that the, tooth, uh, that the glass particles stay in situ for many, many hours. And so as soon as you finish brushing your teeth, you sh uh, that you should uh, just spit out the, the, the foamy excess and then the saliva will start to break down the glass and release those three minerals. And these then precipitate all over the tooth giving a floor appetite surface all over the tooth. So if we've got a situation where we have a patient with exposed dentine tubules with sensitivity that will get calcium, uh, will get uh, floor appetite being um, uh, precipitated into the, into the tubules with, uh, and this floor appetite is highly resistant to acid and so should stay in situ far, far longer than other so-called sensitivity toothpaste. At the same time, if you've, got, if you've had uh, mineral loss through acid erosion uh, or through early caries or white spot lesions, this toothpaste could have a, a great effect at replacing those lost minerals and repairing the tooth structure. When you've got a situation as well where, uh, where you've got initial caries, this is by nature an acidic area and the glass will dissolve more rapidly in, in, in those areas. So it will, at the one hand, it will deposit more um, mineral ions in, uh, and replacing those lost and at the same time increase the pH and, the P and that will then bring uh, the tooth um, and that area of the tooth up to a more neutral area where it will then be able to re remineralize more rapidly. So that's really the basis of, of Biomin F. And we know that there are a lot of patients now that have an aversion to the use of fluorides. And there's no point in arguing whether that is right or wrong. For those patients, we've, brought, we've come up with an alternative called Biomin C. And the Biomin C is effectively the same toothpaste, but with a different glass. The glass does not, um, does not contain fluoride, but the op modus operandi is much the same. So when you brush with this, it will deposit calcium and phosphate, which will then create uh, uh, or, um, hydroxyapatite on the tooth surface, which whilst it's not as acid resistant as the fluorapatite, gives a lot more protection and will help remineralize the tooth surfaces. So this is really uh, designed for those, for those uh, patients who really do not wish to have fluoride uh, uh, used in their body.